But getting back to Russell too, he also said this, and I mentioned this earlier on in the week, but it's worthwhile repeating, because you see, we'll be ruled by oligarchs, you see, and that's what we are ruled by as oligarchs. And he says the completeness of the resulting control over opinion, the propaganda and so on, depends in various ways upon scientific technique. Where all children go to school and all schools are controlled by the government, that's the beauty of uh, having uh, standardized education across countries, etc., all from UNESCO, from the United Nations. It says the authorities can close the minds of the young to everything contrary to official orthodoxy. In other words, they're taught all the new politically correct things. Everything's fine and so on, and things which used to be disgusting are now just, just wonderful. Anyways, printing is not possible without paper, and all paper belongs to the state. Broadcasting and the cinema are equally public monopolies. The only remaining possibility of unauthorized propaganda is by secret whispers from one individual to another. But this, in turn, is rendered appallingly dangerous by improvements in the art of spying. Children at school are taught that it is their duty to denounce their parents if they allow themselves subversive utterances in the bosom of the family. No one can be sure that a man who seems to be his dearest friend will not denounce him to the police. The man may himself may have been in trouble and may know that if he is not efficient as a spy, his wife and children will suffer. You see, they use blackmail on people. He says, all this is not imaginary. It is daily and hourly reality. Nor, given oligarchy, is there the slightest reason to expect anything else. That was right, written as a 31. I think it was 1931. And that was what he and all his kin uh, were envisaging for the future, which is here. The future is here, folks. And um, you really don't have to go into crazy conspiracy books that are churned out by people who make lots of profits by keeping your imagination going. All you have to do is read the books by the big players themselves. They publish their memoirs. They publish their stuff. Psychopaths love to publish how clever they are. Read all of the stuff by Brzezinski and Kissinger and the ilk and retiring bureaucrats, high-level bureaucrats, lifelong politicians who have been members of different cabinets, they call them, as they come into to power, they get put into little cabinets to work on secret things and so on. But they love to give little clues away in the memoirs to show you how important and how clever they were in, in helping plan the future. And, of course, what they really are are playing the Machiavellian game because the public must never be allowed in to the truth as it really is happening at any time, any era, in any country. That's been the standard way of it. Read their books because they do have big mouths at times.